again, everybody. Uh, today is Thursday, and welcome back to Daily Psalms for Hope. And we're going to be looking today at uh, Psalm 147. So get out your Bibles, and let's look at uh, what he has to say here. So Psalm 147, I'm going to start at verse 4. Um, read verse 4 and 5, and then I'm going to jump over to read verse 10 and 11. So it says, he determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. Verse 10, his delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. So there's, there's quite a, a, a contrast here uh, that the psalmist is, is really kind of getting us to understand. The first is that, you know, this God is so large, so uh, magnificent that he determines the number of the stars and he gives to all of them their names. I'm like... You know, if you've ever seen documentaries or if you've ever been on the internet and looked at uh, pictures of the universe and, and see all the stars that there are, uh, all, all of the, uh, you know, we, we have, we've been having cloudy nights recently, but uh, when, the, when the skies are clear at night, just to look up and just see all the stars that are, that are out, it, it, is, it is amazing to me. Uh, that he is one who has created all that. He, he determines the number of the stars, first of all, and they are vast uh, in nature. I mean, all you have to do is, is kind of uh, research that a little bit uh, on the Internet or, or, or whatever. Uh, but the, the vastness of all of the stars is tremendous. So not only does he determine the number of stars, but he names them. So we have this God who, who names all of these stars, and they are vast, and they are so many that we can't even count. Um, but he is, he is the kind of God who has control over all of that. His understanding is beyond measure, and that's certainly true. But then the psalmist contrasts that. He says, he says, and his delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of, 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 of a man. So this, the vastness of this God is not interested in, in power or strength. Uh, but this, the, the vastness of this God, the greatness of this God... Uh, doesn't care about who's the strongest or who's the greatest. What he takes pleasure in, in verse 11, are those who fear him, are those who look to him, uh, who hope in his steadfast love. This God who is so vast and so great that he, that he not only... Uh, determines the number of stars, but he also names them all, is not interested in what you can do, is not interested in who's the greatest here on earth or who's the smartest here on earth, uh, who, who has the most power here on earth, but he, he is, this, this God is most interested in and takes great pleasure in those who look to him, those who find refuge in him, those who hope in his steadfast love. Those are the ones whom this God who has labeled all the stars, named them all, looks at us individually. And if we are, and, and, and when we go to him, when we look to him, that gives him great pleasure. Us little beings on the vastness of this earth, 
of which is only a speck in the universe at large, one of us, a single one of us who take pleasure in him, who hope in him, who look to him for help, he values and loves uh, beyond measure. I, that, that to me is, is a, it, it's just such a stark contrast that the psalmist is making here. But it's, it's, it's such, it, it brings the wonder of God uh, to the forefront. Uh, that this God who is the creator of all things has a passion for you and me to just simply hope in him, look to him, find refuge in him. He doesn't care about our power. He doesn't care about the strength that we muster. He doesn't care about the wisdom that we have. He just wants us looking to him, uh, valuing him, uh, coming to him, uh, praying to him, finding refuge in him. That's what gives this God of the vastness of what he is great pleasure. A good thought for today. So may God's blessings be upon you and be a blessing whenever and wherever you can.